Hey, welcome to the Land Cruiser Project. This will be part five of the 80 series kind of rehab and cleanup uh, build series. What well, I don't know what I'm calling it. Anyway, we are continuing on with and hopefully resolving and finishing up the power steering system. Uh, kind of refresh. Uh, if you haven't been following along, uh, we replaced the power steering, the soft, uh, low pressure lines. Uh, and then after doing that and flushing out the system, we discovered a leak in the oil cooler. And so now we are replacing, we have already taken out the oil cooler, the high pressure line, and then also the pump was, was leaking as well. So all of that's getting refreshed and put back in. And so in order to do that, one thing that I wanted to take care of first was um, I noticed a little bit of corrosion on the transmission uh, cooler. Uh, on the hard lines that go you know kind of out of the front core support here uh, so I picked up a piece from the junkyard we're gonna swap it in and just have a little bit of peace of mind moving forward so that's gonna be the first step that's probably hopefully what I can get done tonight and then hopefully button it all up and get it get it running get it all you know I'd really like to move this thing so anyway that's what we have uh, for in store for this video um, so yeah follow along and yeah let's get after it Okay, all right, getting started here. Uh, this is how the piece orients itself just inside there. Um, first step is I've got to get these lines off. I was able to take these off at the junkyard, so just need to get these lines off. And uh, yeah, then we'll work on the what's in place right now. Okay, so sorry, I missed a little bit of the show. Nothing, nothing too big. Um, just use the, the channel locks to get the clamps off and then use them to kind of loosen up the hose a little bit and use the pick to kind of you know further loosen it up and then yeah they pretty much just slid right off so that's good they still feel pretty supple uh, so it'll be all right to put back on and uh yeah so next step is um, undoing the bolt under here and then going ahead and feeding this through on the other side so that way i can at least pull up on them and get them out that way you know undo the other ends Okay, so here on the other side, let's go ahead and work on the clamps first. Okay, I did it. I got one off. All right, patience is running out here. Oh my gosh, I am questioning my desire and will to live. Holy shit, come on. Okay, so we just put the nut in on the other side, and of course it's f***ing stuck. All right, just put the nut in on the other side. Let's give this another whirl. This wiring, holy shit. Hey, we're thinking of uh, doing some aftermarket lights. Let's put the most shitty wiring package on it as we can. Oh my God, did I get it? No, I only got one side. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I did it. I did it. Hooray! Okay, so those are off. Now, the hard part is getting these lines off. Okay, well, I intended to remove the little zip tie without breaking it. That didn't happen, so I'll just have to replace it with a real zip tie. Uh, so I've got both the clamps off, and I've got one of the hoses kind of isolated. So I think I should be able to work one of them off. At least that's the goal. Okay, I wish I could weasel this thing out, but I just can't. Just literally scratching up everything. All right, come on down. Noises are horrific. Well, not what I wanted to have happen, but it's coming out, so. Okay. Well, that was certainly less than ideal. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and put the new one in. 
It goes so much better. All right, so just working on fastening the nut on the front side. So let's take off the bottom hose. These hoses still feel pretty, pretty good. So, all right, it's coming off nice and easy. Okay, a little bit of fluid. It's okay. Let's put this in a spot where it won't bug us, which is impossible. Can you just like hang out? Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, so now we've just got to dip this down and get it on that bottom nipple. My hands are a little slippery. Let's try and... Okay, good. All right, that went on nice and easy. All right, and then let's go ahead and put the clamp on while we're here. I suck at this so bad. Okay. All right, so one line down. So this other line ready to pull off so we'll do the same thing to it clamp on first partially on let's try and use the towel again that seemed to really help and yeah that's on so let's just get this on easier said than done because I suck at these okay. cool all right, let's work on the front. All right, so the bottom one, pull out the little ear plug. Oh, those were so much easier putting on and taking off. And then the top one, a little bit of fluid in that one. Okay, it's on. Yeah, so what I'm using for plugs here are just some, you know, little ear plugs that I got on the job. All right, let's go ahead and put these clamps on. All right, now the last one. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, comparing the part that we put in versus the part that we took out, uh, this one, you know, I don't think we were at risk of, of having it fail on us, um, but yeah, still, still glad that we got it out. Uh, what's in there looks a lot better. All right, so we are back at the power steering, uh, working on uh, getting the cooler mounted. You can kind of see it underneath there. Uh, so as part of that, um, this is the, the bracket that holds the, the radiator on the, on the front of the vehicle. And anyway, so there was a, uh, a nut or a part of the bolt that was seized in there. So um, I got that extracted. Uh, went pretty well. I was able to get this out of the truck and put it on the table on the vise. Uh, and anyway, so that's done. The other nice thing is that that gives a little bit of a little bit more wiggle room here. I should have actually had it out when I was doing the um, transmission cooler lines the other day. Uh, Would have made it a lot easier. Uh, anyway, so it gives a lot more room. Um, while I'm working in there. And so I'm, I'm trying to, I, I definitely think I need to lift the radiator to get the cooler in without bending it. Um, I've taken off, you can kind of see down there, I've taken off some of the little retainers and the spacers uh, to see if that'll help. Uh, so I've almost got it in there. I need to do a little bit more tweaking. The fan shroud's a little bit in the way and getting that off is a little bit more of a headache than I want to get into. So I'm really gonna try and figure out how to do it without pulling that off. Oh, that's sad. You just missed my moment of triumph. So removing the fan clutch um, and the fan gave me uh, enough clearance and, and allowed me to lift up the radiator and the fan shroud a little bit more. Um, and so that's eventually what did the trick. It's possible to put it in, but I mean the radiator, it's still all connected, but it's mostly, it's mostly on its way out. So once I get the little brackets and everything back on that cooler, uh, then we can go ahead and put the high pressure line in and the pump and start connecting the final hoses and doing a flush. So we're, we're getting there.
a new day. A, um, you can see I've got, I tried a different filming method the other day, or last night, and did not work out. Anyway, most of this is, is back together. Still have a couple of things to add. Um, but with the help of a long-suffering but ever-frustrated wife, um, got the uh, power steering system all bled. And here's the result. Hopefully I've got most or all of the air out. Um, so yeah, you're about to witness the first start um, since doing that. Um, the front end's still off the ground. Uh, and so, you know, I just want to get a sense for if the noise is gone away, if the power steering pump is installed right, and all that. So. So with the power steering done, we can turn our attention to putting the rest of the front end together, um, starting with uh, the lower the lower valence that I just painted, and then working and moving on to the to the turn signals and the headlights, and then finally the, the center grill. I was about to put these turn signals in, but we can't have them going in like that. Well, let's see. Uh, I think it's worse. All right, let's see if that's any better. Oh yeah, that'll do. All right, so this is gonna wrap up the fifth and final part of the cleanup and refresh for the 97 here. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much where I want it to be and just need to start doing some, you know, some other maintenance on it. Uh, so each of those will be, you know, specific to a different problem. Uh, but yeah, the overall refresh effort is done. Hope you've enjoyed uh, the kind of five part series here and stay tuned because there's plenty more to do. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hit the like button if you like the video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.